this is Neil Barnhill with the Barnhill Golf Institute, helping you find your winning way. Happy New Year, first of all, and I wanted to do an awesome video on probably some of you guys' New Year's resolution is to get in shape, so I wanted to address that. And I'm gonna give you five great exercises that you can do anywhere. You can do them at your house, you can do them at the gym, you can do it on the patio, by the pool where I am, in your, in your garage. But more importantly, I wanted to go over the technique and how to do them because I want you to be safe. A lot of people get injured this time of year by doing incorrect movements and they want to get in shape. They try to do too much too fast. Next thing you know, they're at the chiropractor or their doctor because they've done too much of the wrong movements and they hurt their shoulders, their knees, their lower back. So I want to go over some basic movements, but they have a lot of technique. And we're going to go over the squats, how to squat correctly, push-ups, sit-ups, and then I'm going to show you a couple more exercises I think are great, uh, burpees and also mountain climbers, okay? First of all, I want to start off with squatting. This is the most important movement you can do as you do this in everyday life, whether you're at the grocery store, out and about, it's just something you need to do properly and you can, I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, so squatting, if you do this correctly, this is going to work your abdominals out, your hamstrings, your legs, uh, everything and this is let me just go over it with you I'm gonna do it from both sides here but you want to have your feet underneath your hips toes pointed out your left foot maybe like at 11 o'clock right foot one o'clock knees out and then also first thing I like to teach is cover the sun with, the, with your hands and then the hips are gonna go back first we want to keep the weight in the heels the whole time okay so we want to go down real slowly the same tempo and then come back up through the hills and you can notice my knees are right over my feet. They didn't never go in. Okay, so we'll do that again. And this is an air squat. Okay, so from this side, you can see, watch my face here. I'm not gonna go forward. Okay, so that's how you do the air squat and I mean if you do it correctly and keep those knees out you're not going to have any knee problems a lot of people you get out there say hey don't do squats you're going to hurt your knees that can be further from the truth if you do it correctly and keep those knees out and weight in the heels it actually has been proven to rehabilitate your knees so I'm going to uh, disclaim that that notion on that that's just not true so let's do the squats learn how to do it and uh, that's just a great exercise for the rest of your life. Okay, the next is push-ups. Uh, how do you do push-ups? I see this done wrong more than anything, even more so than, the, than squats. And if you do this incorrectly, this can hurt your shoulder. And for you people out there that say, hey, I can't do a push-up, I don't have enough upper body strength, well, I'm gonna show you a way you can do it without having to do it all the way down, but it's a very effective and efficient way too. All right, so straight on, hands are right underneath the shoulders and my elbows are pointing straight back. Okay, I'm in a perfect line here. I'm gonna go all the way down, chest is the floor, then I come up. Okay, so I'm gonna show you this way too so you can see my elbows. My elbows are this way, they're not out. That's where most people go wrong to get their elbows out. Okay, so that's how you do a push-up. Let's say, hey, I'll, can I just do it for my knees? I don't have enough upper body strength to do it that way. No, I'm gonna show you how to do it. And, and this is the best way to do it because in sports, if you're a junior or, or a child, hey, whatever, if you fall down, this is how you should get up, okay? So let's do it from this angle here. Let's say you just can't go down. All right, well, I'm just gonna plop down and then my elbows gotta point straight back and then push myself back up, okay? So plop down and then push myself back up okay that you'll get a lot more out of that range of motion doing it that style but the main thing keep these elbows like this okay this out here is a unsafe position for your shoulders your rotator cup that is not good okay that's the crucial points for that so the push up and the squat those two things done correctly that's a, that's a huge thing okay so take your time and learning how to do that uh, third thing is sit-ups okay I got an ab mat here because I'll tell you what we want all the emphasis put on our, our abdominals and our core when we do this exercise so if you don't have this when you do a sit-up 
You're gonna put a lot of strain on your neck and lower back. This is not very expensive. I have 20 to 35 bucks, somewhere in there. Um, it's not that much, you can get on Amazon. Okay, let me show you how this goes. So we're gonna use the fatter side here, the bigger side, to uh, actually put our lumbar there. That's where we're gonna sit down. Okay, and it's gonna be right there. We can put our hands behind our head here, go all the way back. And then we come up all the way where our shoulders pass our hip crease. Okay, if you can't keep your hands behind your head, you can just go like this. Okay? And those are great, but I highly recommend getting an ab mat. Okay, that'll save your lower back and your neck. Okay? And it'll actually give you more results in your abdominals and give you that six pack you want. All right, so what we're gonna do now, the, uh, let's do, after you have your push-ups, you can start doing burpees. Now that's just, that's scientifically proven to be one of the best exercises. If there's only one exercise you could do to hit all areas of the body, it would be the burpee, okay? And many of you out there know what it is, but I wanna go through it. So you need to do the push up correctly and then I'll show you how it works, okay? So, we we'll go from this side here, you go down, push up, two legs here, and then you jump up in the air and clap your hands, okay? And then you go back down to the ground, and jump up, and that's how you do it. Okay, you do a bunch of those. Uh, I tell you what, it'll get your heart rate up, the intensity of it is pretty intense. Uh, leg workout, upper body workout, cardiovascular workout, it's incredible. So, anytime you're not sure what to do, you throw together some squats, push-ups, sit-ups, this in there you got yourself a full body workout. Okay, now the last thing is a great cardio workout, which I like to do. Um, seems like it uh, stretches out my hamstrings because it, it's, it's called the mountain climber. But let me show you how that works. There's a couple of different styles to do that. Main thing is we want to keep our back really flat. We don't want our rears way up in the air. We want to keep everything on a perfect line here and then move from the hips down. That's going to be what when we do the mountain climber, what moves to touch the elbow or come close, there's a couple styles. But we're gonna get in a push-up type plank position. Okay, and then we're gonna go like this. I like to do it where I, I touch my elbows, it's a little bit deeper. Uh, you don't have to go that far, let me show you the other way. But, you know, you're holding yourself in a position with the plank, push-ups is working your upper body, your core, uh, it's getting your legs going, you're working out your calves, uh, cardio for sure. So that's just a great exercise too. Just looking into a mirror to see how you are, that you're more in a flat line, and that's how you can do it. Now, I'll tell you what, for three minutes and 50 seconds, you can pick any of these exercises. It's called a Tabata. And I tell you what, it'll give you a great workout. And what it is, is let's say we're doing squats. I'm gonna give you an example here. We do squats and we're gonna do a Tabata. It's eight rounds, you do 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. So I would go, all right, three, two, one, go. One, two, three, okay? And I would go maybe to 11, 12, okay? And I have 20 seconds to be up, then I got 10 seconds of rest then 20 seconds back on. I would like to stay consistent with that number, like 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 good squats, not do 18 in the first one and then go to like three in the latter rounds. But that's a Tabata you can do anywhere. You can do that with push-ups, eight rounds of push-ups. Do 10 push-ups every 20 seconds, 10 seconds break, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds break, 20 seconds on. And that lasts for three minutes and 50 seconds. It's a total of eight rounds. Those are great exercises. I mean, I've done that I don't know how many times over the years. Do a Tabata of uh, squats, and then I'll do a Tabata of sit-ups, Tabata of push-ups, you know, mountain climbers, and I tell you what, then that's, so that's four things. That's, that's not even 20 minutes of work, and I'm like, whoa. 
you know, but to say you're out and about and you're busy, if you did two of those things, that would be seven minutes of work. And I'm telling you what, that would be better than anything getting on the treadmill for an hour going at a steady pace. That intensity will boost your metabolism. I was explaining that to my friend the other day, like, hey, if you can learn to get intense with this stuff and get where you can do high intensity training, your metabolism will be burning for 24 to 36 hours. Versus if you're doing something more isolated and it's just you know, comfortable, you'll, your meta your, you'll be burning fat for the period of time that you wore it out. So if you wore it out for an hour, you, your metabolism will be like one hour. So there's a big difference. But you need to learn how to do this stuff properly first. Don't worry about doing it too fast in the beginning. I, I Take your time and learn these, these mechanics I just showed you on the form and then your intensity can increase as you get better with, with your form, okay? Because what I've seen as a trainer over the years, people want to go fast and tense in the beginning, they have no form. So let's say their squat looks something like this. I mean, if they do that over and over again and their back's hurt, then they're out of the game and then they're hurt, okay? So right now we need to get the form, form, technique, and then the intensity can pick up as you get better with your, with your, with your fundamentals and technique. All right, so hey, please check out all my great videos on golf, exercises on barnhillgolf.com.